name is Larry Hernandez, and welcome to Everything Recruiting. Going to make a series of short but uh, hopefully valuable videos to sorcerers and recruiters and anyone who cares to learn about such things. So I'm um, actually working on a blog post here um, on the Recruiter DNA site, and it's, it's uh, focused on um, sourcing and recruiting for big data. But there's a little part of it here that goes over how to build your strings. And this is a, a hot topic with me because after spending a few weeks at a couple of different conferences, um, it seems that there's not one way that all sorcerers put together their strings. And uh, I think there's there might be some room to mess up um, if you don't have a... A, a system or methodology to build these strings. So what I want to do is use big data as an example. So if you're if you've never uh, worked with big data and you get this this position, uh, you might get overwhelmed. And if we look at uh, job descriptions, it's going to have some keywords, or you've had a, a talk with your hiring team and you're going to have some keywords, um, but it can be a trap to kind of mix the words you have. Um, and let me show you what I mean. I put in, I use one of these new fandangled tools um, with artificial, intelli artificial intelligence uh, that helps you build the search. And I just put in the word Hadoop engineer and it spit out this. And all of these are good words when you're looking for um, big data engineers. But the problem I have is if you kind of dig deep and I just took the first sentence out here and it says, OK, um, if this so this is the entire string, I broke it down. So we'll just get the first sentence or the first section of that string. Right. Which is the first instructions that you're giving the database LinkedIn or anything else you're searching. You're, you're telling it here it is right here. You're telling it that you can give me the word Hive, HBase, Apache Pig. Uh, or Apache Spark. In other words, just return one of these results, okay? That's all it is. So you're, in essence, you're telling the, the ATS or the search engine, these are all the same to me, okay? So just find me any one of them, because any one of them will do. And then we, we put an and statement, right? An and, or and sometimes you can just leave this blank, and then the new line of parentheses will, will will tell it, okay, one of these and just one of these. And you start stacking them. So the you second line is give me map me. reduce. And the, the issue and is if you put all these in basically into LinkedIn or whatever it is you're searching, you're gonna get some candidates. The problem is this is not a smart way of structuring this search. It's got uh, different categories, if you will, of the Hadoop ecosystem side by side. And so if you look at the this map here, uh, this grid, um, it I like I like searching uh, by things and looking for these big graphs, usually by vendors um, that explains how the entire system works. That way you can look at maybe the um, you know how you know your your how your data is getting uh, used. You can look at the database. Right. Um, you, sometimes you'll have a, a front end, a middle and a back end. Um, you'll hear people say, oh, you know, I need JavaScript, JavaScript on the front end. Uh, we use a, uh, a NoSQL or Mongo database, uh, you know, and you get these. And if you don't know any better, you're just going to put them side by side. The problem is you're limiting your search. So what you want to do is take this example and you don't even have to know about this, but you, you'll know that someone smarter than us has already put these into different layers or classifications. So when your manager says, you know, I want someone with um, Click, um, Helix, someone with um, Falcon. And, and so you're only going to get some of these words, but hopefully you're going to say, well, can they have something similar to that? In other words, they might not just have one of these data visual visualization tools, but any of these will probably be okay. So by putting all of these in one search string, right? Like we did this big or statement here. Let me go up here to this. Uh, I, I did some of this for my blog post. 
Um, so I started breaking it down, right? I show you this. And then I say, okay, let's take each one of these categories and let's make it its own line. So here's data visual, visualization, right? That's that top line. All I did was simply put this word, this word, this word, this word, and I just put an or in front of it. Okay, so I just put all these, if it's multiple words, you wanna put quotes in there, um, and there it is. And then you go on to the second step, right? System development. So I, I took these in green, you know what I'm going to do in my blog? I'm going to make these color coded. I'll put this in green. But and so you're telling it, you know, and you're and you're going by each layer in a logical manner. That way you're giving yourself the, the biggest chance of finding someone that has one or more of these and one or more of these. And what you start getting is a complete person that has a complete uh, the whole cycle or the whole stack instead of just picking out the most popular ones and then you're like well you're you know your manager's like yeah but they don't have any of the back-end database and you're like well it had it had some of the word yeah but you didn't build the string to capture the entire stack so i, I hope that makes sense um and uh if you have any questions please let me know thanks